All right. This video, I'm going to show you how to make 12 volt lighting out of regular household 120 volt uh, lighting fixtures. In this case, I got a um, antler chandelier at the local Habitat for Humanity restore. The original uh, bulbs which you can see back there are 25 watt regular 120 volt incandescence right here you can see the socket standard socket this however right here is an automotive number 194 socket 12 volts and this is how I'm doing it this stick part of it slides off two screws on either side come off In this case, since it's a little more complicated like fixture, it's a little harder to get to on some areas. So I'm just removing, I guess you would say the more top end of the fixture, leaving the base area. On the other side of the socket you can see the wiring screws which I remove those wiring and since they are a flexible braided wire it should be pretty well good wire for 12 volt wiring. So all I'm doing is at a regular automotive store buying 194 sockets or pigtails if you will comes with wiring and inserting the regular appliance or light fixture wiring and butt connecting it with the automotive socket making it a 12 volt lighting fixture. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I don't want to invert my power. This bulb here takes 25 watts. Even if I went to um, a fluorescent or a smaller LED and 120 volts I'm still going to be using more power with the 110 120 volt system there is six lights around here which were a total of hundred and fifty watts with the standard incandescence the 194 bulbs that I will be purchasing for this consume one half of one watt making it a total of three watts power consumption I'm not gonna show you how um, it looks to uh, install to the base here because I think we all can do our basic butt splice wiring the 194 sockets are just basically hot glued in there before I crimp my ends here and then I slide it the stick over the base and voila a new socket. So 
So this will be our future 12 volt over the dining room table chandelier. Antler chandelier, 12 volt LED. Three watts total power consumption. And I have more projects here in the future using standard house lighting and changing them over to automotive LED lighting. You may ask, why don't you just buy 12 volt LED for your house? Because you can't get this for a 12 volt. It just don't exist. So, I create my own, and we got this chandelier for right around $50, I think, down at the ReStore, so $2 each for that, my cost, and um, I think on Amazon I can get a 10-pack of bulbs for $7, $8, so really not, doesn't cost a whole lot. So, if you're interested in more of those kind of videos, I will be posting them, so be on the lookout. So I hope this helps you, uh, I don't know, get the bug to uh, make your own sort of 12 volt lighting for an off-grid project. Alright, that's all I wanted to show for now. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.